Hello and welcome to my video for another video of QRP Radio. You've probably guessed by now that I've come on this channel where there's a, a calib collaboration of us, if you can call it that, of different people with different interests to do with the radio. This is the uh, DCT, which I bought in kit form from Australia uh, by OzQRP.com. And it comes with this box, printed circuit board, although you have to, um, you do have to uh, wind the toroids uh, for the uh, picked band that you wanted, which I wanted 40 meters, and put a few more components on. Most of the board is surface mounted. Um, so uh, let me zoom in for you. Now this radio can be used with uh, a speakerphone. I'm using the Anytone one for this particular uh, demonstration. And you can also uh, have headphones. And a CW key, the CW key is a straight key compatibility. It doesn't, it's not compatible with a paddle, unfortunately. Um, and I will show you a bit about that in a second. On uh, the um, frequency readout here, you can see it's one five uh, seven one five seven zero zero zero. You pick your increments by pushing down the um, tuning knob and use 50, 10, which I do use to fine tune. And go down or up in tens, as you can see, as it's showing you there. It's, uh, now I'm not using a tuner, so the wire I've got attached to this is not resonant at the moment, but there is no tuner in this radio. So I normally use something that resonates on the correct frequency normally. But I do like this radio for CW. Now you can jump to make it a bigger jump. Push that, 500. Let's go 100. Try and, try and find something a bit clearer. Um, bearing in mind I haven't got a tuned wire so it's not picking up. There you go. So um, 7144 the signal meter here is um, you know, five blocks, so it's one, two, three, four, five. So five would be your maximum, obviously, and one would be your minimum. Now the good thing with this, you have a mic gain, control, AF gain, which is obviously your volume, and CW. Now the CW, I will show you. Uh, I haven't. I've got a key. I've got a key here, but I haven't got the wire. <laughs> Just a portable key that would plug there. Oops, portable key that would plug there. Now, when you go through the menu on this radio, you've got an attenuator. You can drop that down to 10 dB. Well, you can change it, actually. Choose whatever you wish. 20, auto. Oh, sorry, okay, I'm fine, uh, bearing a 589 See, he's giving me about 7, 8. Now the clarity of this radio is very nice. You can hear that. I know I haven't got a um, proper resonant aerial on it, but it's this clear all the time. Yes, I do get interference, like you would at home, like any other radio, but the clarity is just lovely. Um, now, if we go down to, um, if we go down to the CW part of the band, uh, here we go. On this, you have a set 700 offset for CW. So you would, say if, say if you wanted to, um, hang on a minute. So if you wanted to go on to um, 7.30, which is the 
calling frequency. Oh, let's get the correct increment. Oh, sorry. Very correct. So if we go down at 730, you would go uh, 7700. Uh, let's um, see if we can hear anything. Now to change the mode, you hold. Whoops, sorry. Change the mode. Oop. You turn this knob. Right, mode is DSP. Now, D the interesting thing about this radio is DSP means double sideband. It is a double sidebanded radio. Well, you tune this to, say, like uh, DSP, you push, change it to CW. You come out of that menu. Let me go and find, see if we can find anything. Unfortunately, it hasn't got a decoder on this particular radio, but if you're good enough, you can decode yourself, <laughs> which I'm not good enough. I'm trying to pick up something quite strong if I can. Uh, jump down here, here we go, this might be a bit better. Anyway, you get the idea. It's a bit quiet because I haven't got a good enough antenna, as I've said. So, um, the radio itself, I'll give you a, a bit of a measurement somehow. I haven't got any, I haven't got a measuring tape to apologize. But anyway, the radio itself, it's about 10 inches by about six and a half. Um, on the on the uh, top of the radio here, you can see it's a plastic box because I've put it in it. The uh, on and off switch. This is your power switch, um, power plug. Sorry, B and C for that quick deployment of an antenna. Very light. Very light. Can't give you the exact weight, but it contains um, just a board. A screen and uh, it's very simple and it works and it's five watts output so thank you for a brief look at my kit radio DCT QRP transceiver by QRP ozqrp.com just another insight to qrp for those who are interested that is obviously ft8 coming through Oh, by the way, it doesn't contain a battery, but that's not to say you couldn't put one in because there's plenty of space in this box that you could put one in. And this is the box you actually receive with the kit. So 
so there's plenty of room to put in a lipo in there a small one it doesn't use a lot of ampage either i've actually used this on a power bank um that you would use for like jump start in your car you know the small power banks you can buy from the shop for jump start in your car and it lasted for hours so the uh the ampage is not that high on this radio here's my interference hear that hear that that's at the top of 40 meters near the top anyway thanks for watching Okay, so, um, oh. So, yes, yeah, so I said I was going to show you how the Auto CQ works. And if I didn't, I'm going to show you how the Auto CQ works. So, if we go into the uh, menu, we've got it set here for 16. You can set it for, um, oh, sorry set it for eight words a minute 12 or 16 and the idea for this auto cq is to save you having to keep repeatedly type tapping out your call sign so when you're on the frequency you've chosen and uh, you're doing repeating the call cq um you you just set it to that on the menu you take your straight key here you give it a tap and there we go and here's my call sign coming up 2E0SJA There you go now that's not the proper way to do it there are maybe a r involved in their letters um so yeah you do that and once you've made a connection with someone you can just tap yourself See? so um anyway thank you for watching